Good morning. We have been learning about block ciphers. We went through um, the various design aspects of block ciphers. Especially, we discussed in detail about the generalized Pistel structure. We came through the data encryption standard and we understood that the data encryption standard was actually uh, IBM developed Lucifer algorithm which was slightly modified. We went through various strengths and uh, you know weaknesses of data encryption standard. The early 2000s the NIST went ahead and called for proposals of more algorithm for different algorithms which could be selected as the next generation standard algorithm the advanced encryption standard so let us learn how the advanced encryption standard works to learn about advanced encryption standard I found this beautiful animation by Enrique Zavala over the internet with all credit to Enrique. The Rindel cipher won the AES selection process, just like Lucifer algorithm won the TES selection process. The initial algorithm that was selected was the 128-bit AES. Later, the 256-bit AES and the 512-bit AES were developed. Uh, probably Today, the 256 or the 512 is being used as a standard. There are just subtle differences between all these algorithms, these three versions of uh, AES. We start with the, with the basic 128-bit AES. So the AES takes as input a plain text and a cipher key and gives you the cipher text as output. The gray box is what we have to see about. The input of the AES would be the plain text itself and the cipher text. So the plain text, we call it a state from this point on, as an arranged four by four matrix. Uh, now the bit sizes are kind, it works as a four by four matrix. So the first state over here, uh, depicted as three two in this example, is hex for one byte, eight bits of data. So you have the 4 by 4 matrix of 8 bits which gives you 128 bits. Likewise the cipher key would be 128 bits. Your algorithm has two parts, the encryption process and the key expansion algorithm. So the state goes into the encryption algorithm and the cipher key goes into uh, the key expansion algorithm. Uh, just as in the DES you have uh, you know multiple rounds of operations and at each round of operation you have a new sub key being uh, uh, being taken as a, you know processing uh, okay the encryption process The encryption process. The encryption process, uh, you know, has just four operations in it. It has the sub key, the sub bytes, the shift rows, the mix columns, and the add round key. Now, the entire operation happens in such a fashion that the initial round has just the add round key function happening. There are nine main rounds in the 128 bit AES. The 256 bit has uh, 11 main rounds and the 512 bit has 13 main rounds. That is all the difference it is. 9 main rounds, 11 main rounds and 13 main rounds. 128 bit, 256 bit and 512 bit. Substitution bytes, shift rows, mix columns and add round key. Take special note, the final round does not have mix columns in it. 
see the final round is just sub byte shift rows and add round key it does not have the mix column which happens for the nine main rounds and as input you see that for each round function you have the round key going in as input i want you to take uh, you know your turn your attention to this state matrix here so this is what happens nine main rounds of operation and a final round uh, and a final round so after 10 rounds of operation you get your cipher text let us look at that slide once again okay take special note your state matrix goes as input into your algorithm so a few operations happen for nine rounds and then the final round and you have your cipher text so let us see what happens at each of these transformations so fundamentally there are just four transfer transformations sub bytes shift rows mix columns and add round key the order in which they happen slightly varies the substitution bytes just as in des you have a substitution function happening here so there is the substitution box which has multiple which has some data in it now look at uh, one nine okay now the first the first cell had 32 earlier if you remember now 32 was add key uh, there was a first initial round the round the zero round you know, which was add key so the key was added to 32 and right now you have one nine as uh, in the first cell so let us see what happens in substitution the first one cell one nine is considered the first four bits select the row of the substitution box the second the second four bits selects the column of the box and in that spot you have b4 which gets substituted okay so let us go ahead and see what happened again the first cell considers the first four bits the row of the substitution box the second four bits the column of the substitution box whatever you had over there gets substituted likewise every cell gets substituted the substitution by bytes it is just substituting each cell of the state by data from a substitution box the second operation shift rows very simple the first row is left as such the second row is rotated by one byte the third row is rotated by two bytes and the fourth row is rotated by three bytes does this ring a bell remember how we shuffled your answer sheet while we evaluated the first assignment in your class let us go again the first row is left intact the second row is shifted one byte the third row is left circular shifted two bytes and the fourth row is left circular shifted by three bytes so shift rows is left circular shift in a particular fashion mix columns now I want you to take special note here slight difference mix columns as the name suggests operation happens column wise so the first column is taken out column wise you have a modulo multiplication with a Rintel Galva field matrix now this the selection of this or the creation of this Galva field matrix 
uh, is a topic of it here. Uh, you understand by now what this Galva field matrix would be. We did that in our module 2. So there is this standard Galva field matrix. Column wise multiplication happens and that would be uh, considered for subsequent steps. The first column is initially multiplied. The second column is multiplied late. The third column is multiplied and the fourth column is multiplied. Let us uh, go through that slide once again. You consider the first column modulo multiplied by a standard Galois field matrix. You get the result, put it all back. The second column, third column and fourth column are all multiplied. add round key so at every round you have a new round key coming in as input column wise XOR happens so it is column wise XOR happening a look again at the add round key the round key comes in the first column and the first column of the round key gets XOR you get the output the second column of the state the second column of the state gets added to the second column of the round key the third column gets added to the third column of the round key and the fourth column gets added to the fourth column of the round key now these transformations happens for nine rounds the input First round, zeroth round just gets added with the round key. You get something. That's something. So your 32 over here got after addition with 2B comes in as 1-9. This is what the state that goes into round 1 operation. Now 1-9 gets substituted to D4. This matrix you have the shift rows happening so BF over here goes in as the first key, 5D here goes in as the first element and uh, 30 over here goes in as the first element. So after substitution by bytes this is what you get after shift rows this is what you get and then there is the column wise operation happening so this column gets multiplied with the standard uh, Rindel Galva field matrix. This column gets multiplied, this column, this column. So this is what you get. And after mixed columns, the state gets added with uh, the round key. And this happens, this goes on and happens for round two, round three, round four, round five, round six, round seven, round eight, round nine. Nine rounds of operations, the same thing keeps repeating itself. And at the final round, you have everything other than the mixed column happening. So you do not have the mixed column in round 10. Whatever you get out is the ciphertext as output. Beautiful algorithm. Okay. Now let us go into what happens with the key schedule. Now the key schedule uh, or the key expansion algorithm. You see that you had only this blue cipher key you know, the 4x4 matrix this is what uh, you had at uh, the initial round and now you have 10 more rounds happening right you have nine main rounds and one uh, final round happening so each of these rounds requires sub keys now these sub keys are generated from the initial cipher key Take special note on how this algorithm works. So you have the 4x4 matrix and you have to keep on expanding it further for 10 more rounds. So you need another 4x4 matrix for round 1, another round 4x4 matrix for round 2, 4x4 matrix for round 3, all the way down. Column wise expansion is what happens over here. So to find out what happens at the first column of the first round key okay you call that uh, you call this the wi or the word i ith round okay to, to find the ith column over here 
you first have to select i minus 1. Okay, so to select wi, you or to compute wi, you select wi minus 1. Fine. And on wi minus 1, you perform a rotation, a down, downward rotation or a down, you know, upwards, uh, upward shift. So the, the first cell of this column goes down. You have an upward shift. Now this shifted column has to be substitution, okay? The substitution you know, by bytes happens through the column and then you select WI minus 4. On WI, you perform some operations, select WI minus 4 and from a standard table you select one column you add all these three guys up okay XOR all these uh, guys up you get the dark gray column and that dark gray column is what goes in as uh, the first column of the first round key okay now you've got to find the second column WI you call this now WI for that you select the WI minus 1 so whatever was computed just now WI minus 4 so the second column of the first uh, key XOR replace to select WI you select WI minus 1 XOR with WI minus 4 substitute the next WI is WI minus 1 WI minus 4 substitute okay now take a special note the first column is dark gray in color and the other three columns are light gray in color so the process that has to happen to compute the first column is slightly more than what you have to do for these three columns over here so this again is the first column of the second round sub key so you have more processes happening here. What, what would that be? WI minus 1, rotate word, dump, substitution by bytes, WI minus 4, and the standard table, XOR, you get the first column. For the second column, it is just WI minus 1, XOR, WI minus 4, put it over there. I minus, WI minus 1, the WI minus 4 XOR, put it over there. WI minus 1, WI minus 4 XOR, put it over there. First column would be, now this column over here would be WI minus 1, substitution bytes, WI minus 4, and the standard table XOR substitute. WI minus 1, WI minus 4, substitute. WI minus 1, WI minus 4, substitute. WI minus 1, WI minus 4, substitute. WI minus 1, sub bytes, sorry, a rotate word, sub bytes, WI minus 4, and standard, XOR, put it over there. WI minus 1, WI minus 4, XOR, put it. WI minus 1, WI minus 4, XOR. WI minus 1, WI minus 4, XOR. Okay, so that is how the process works for the sub key generation algorithm. Okay, a quick recap again how the things work. State, cipher key, encryption process, nine rounds of operation. And out. Four trans transformations. The sub bytes. So substitution happens. The shift rows. First row intact. Second row one bit. Third row two bits. And fourth row three bits. Three bytes. Three bytes.
the next columns column wise operation add round key adding with round keys happens for nine times in the tenth round you do not have mix columns to get the output the key schedule is wi minus one rotate word substitute bytes wi minus four standard add put over there wi minus one wi minus four wi minus one wi minus four wi minus one wi minus four wi minus one rotate word substitute wi minus four standard add xor put it back wi minus one wi minus four put it back wi minus one wi minus four put it back wi minus one wi minus four put it back that's it about the round key of 